Fight fans, fight fans, fight fans. The counterpunching continues. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News. And I have some new news for you concerning Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder and his cadet of Wilders, or Wildlings, right? They have stated now the new narrative they're trying to push is Tyson Fury is afraid for of a rematch. Hmm. Okay. Tyson Fury is afraid of a rematch because he, now they're saying, well, he didn't. He felt the power, and now because he's felt the power, he's reluctant to get in the ring. He talks the talk, but now he doesn't want to walk the walk once again. Okay, first of all, Tyson Fury rose from that. And if anything, if you feel someone's best shot, because that was a great shot that, that Deontay hit him with. It was a shot that should have put him out, but it didn't. Okay, when you get hit with someone's best punch and you get up from it, that's something now you can expect to get hit with again. So it should make you more cautious. You remember when Fury was like, I want to feel the power. I want to feel, I want to feel this power. I want to feel it. I want to feel this Deontay power. Come on, Deontay. Remember you saying that? You know, getting Deontay all ravved up and stuff like that. And he didn't really know how to handle that aggressiveness. You know what I'm saying? But he lashed out a bit, you know, lost it like he does. He's wilder, right? But he felt that. He asked what he was looking for and he felt that right hand. And he got up and he rallied and he hurt. Actually, um, wilder with a left hook. He hit him with a right, then a left that staggered him. And I'm like, whoa. And he really should have, you know, Tyson should have seen, I don't know, he was probably uh, still going by the game plan of Ben Davison, you know, and, you know, kind of keeping it cool because he had just got his bearings back, I feel. But he did stagger him. Now, if this was Freddie Roach, Freddie Roach would have told him, go in for the kill, you know, because I think he knew he staggered Deontay, but he wanted to still be cautious. So when he hit him with that left, he, you know, he, he held him, which was smart. You know what I mean? It was a survival move. I can't fault him for that. But for Wilder and his Wildings saying that he's scared all of a sudden. And here's the reason. Because he doesn't want to fight in America. Well, why are you getting pissed that he want, doesn't want to fight in America when he feel he was cheated? What's wrong with Wilder going over there? What's wrong with him going to the UK if, see, here's the thing. Wilder needs Fury, not the other way around, guys. Fury doesn't need Wilder. Fury proved, hey, I can beat you on your own soil, right? Now, a lot of people think that you lost, meaning Deontay lost. Well, you have to prove that you can beat me, not the other way around. Sure, you got the draw and you keep the belt because you got a draw. You didn't win nor lose, you know. So, yeah, Tyson Fury can build his resume by saying, hey, you know what? I'll never fight in America again because it's corrupt. And it was corrupt the night that I outboxed him and cheated me out of the greatest comeback in American history. Or world history or boxing history. Right. So, yeah, he can say that all he wants. And will he be lying for saying that? Who knows? Right. So but for Deontay saying things like that, him and, you know, his wilderlings or wildlings or whatever you want to call it, him and his fanboys, they're going along with that. Oh, yeah, he's scared. See, that's the new thing now. Oh, Tyson Fury scared for a rematch just because he doesn't have to give you a rematch. He doesn't have to if you're not trying to been to the concessions. See, that's the problem with the Joshua negotiations. Deontay Wilder and his team, they are saying what a person is. You know, Joshua's scared. Now Tyson Fury is scared, right? But then, oh, I'm not going to the UK. So, well, if you're not going to the UK, you can't really prove or make your argument notified or justify your argument because... You're not going to the UK. Why can't you just say, fine, let's have it in the UK then? You know what I'm saying? So it's something that they are worried about losing, right? Like, no, I ain't going over there, but you scared. Like, it doesn't even make sense. You know, if you really feel that Tyson Fury scared, why don't you say, okay, Tyson Fury, we fought in America. Let's fight in the UK now. Next. 
See, there's no way of proving that. And he's not trying to show people that he is scared and just talk. And it has to be talk because he's not trying to prove it to be legit. See, there's no evidence that ever backs Deontay Wilder for whatever he says. That's the problem. That's the pro That's one of the other problems I have with Deontay Wilder. He'll say something out of his mouth that he cannot prove. He's not even willing to prove it. You know, let's put certain things to a test. He says Joshua was scared, right? Okay. How do you prove that he was scared if you don't even accept the money? You're now saying Tyson Fury's scared. Okay. Well, how can you prove that Tyson Fury's scared when you're not even trying to willing to go to the UK to fight? See, if it was all bullshit or if it was all made up, now Tyson Fury is saying that come to the UK. Oh, but now he's scared because you don't want to go to the UK. It makes no sense. None of that makes sense. You know, it's like, it's like these Wilder and his team, they act like a bunch of bitches. Like they, they whine. This is whining at this point. You know, like, no, I don't want to go over there. No, I ain't going over there. You fought here the first time. Yeah, that's right. He fought here the first time. He already showed you that he can fight here. So it's not necessary for him to do it again. You know what I mean? And possibly get screwed over how he feels. He got screwed over again. Why would he want to do that if he's a smart fighter? You know what I'm saying? I mean, they could have robbed him or really gave him an L. And luckily it went as a draw for both guys, really, if you really want to look at it. Because I think uh, Wilder lost. You know what I mean? And the knockdowns made it interesting, but hey, it made it dramatic. But I thought he lost because he, he it wasn't enough rounds he had in the bag. That's my personal opinion. But you can't say that Tyson Fury's scared because he wants you to come to the UK. Dude, just be reasonable with negotiations. That's all that Team Wilder has to learn how to bargain. You know what I'm saying? Compromise. See, they talked all that about AJ. We're going to sit down and we're going to make a nice, decent split. That's what his, 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 his pimp said. Yeah, that's right. I said it. His pimp. Wilder's pimp said that. It bald-headed dude with the glasses. You know? Finkel is his pimp. That's it. He calling the shots. You can see that from that boxing voice interview. Okay? You can tell that. He's saying a lot of stuff. And then when he doesn't like... A certain questions, you know what he says? Oh, oh, I got to go. Oh, oh. Click. You didn't hear from him again. But yeah, he's the pimp. So those guys don't know how to negotiate and compromise. That's a part of negotiations. That's why all those set downs and Eddie and all those trying to do, we know the stories. We know. We know what happened. Okay? So, no. If Deontay Wilder really thinks that Tyson Fury's scared, agree to go to the UK. Now, if the narrative changes at that point, okay, he might have a he might have an argument with that because now you've called you've called bluff. But if you don't bend right to anyone's concessions, there's no way of you proving you're just talking shit. You're just saying something, I guess, to make yourself look good or better than the other person or more heroic or more dominant than that person. Like you are the one that's trying to make this fight where, in fact, if you really wanted to make the fight, you have to learn how to negotiate with the other side to make the fight happen. Does that make sense to you guys? I mean, am I just, you know, so that's it, you know? So no, I don't feel that Fury's afraid to fight Wilder again. No, I don't think that. But that's just me counterpunching. You guys tell me what you think about this narrative that's been spread. Of course, please subscribe, hit the like button, and you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.